So excuse the sweatiness and the out of breath. I would do this at home, but it's a little, I can't really talk while, I, while I'm there. Like I feel like it's awkward when other people can like just hear me speaking and such and I can't really be myself. But anyway, sorry for the ugly angles. Um, this is not really a criticism of spinning gravity, like um, spinning a, a spaceship at a fast enough speed in order to generate artificial gravity. It's not a criticism of that inherently. It's more a criticism of what I think is an oversight in a lot of these like plans. There's a um, calculator online. I, I'm going to put it down in the description where you can um, you can basically find how far up, like basically how close can you get to the center of the uh, circle in a um, like O'Neill cylinder, for example, before you're literally floating in air. You know how close to the um, the surface of that is it still 1g gravity where it still feels like earth and if you plug in for example like the original o'neill cylinder like the like the actual like measurements for that or example the um the cylinder that was shown in after earth that documentary which um hypothesis um which thought of like what if humanity had to leave earth because it was about to be destroyed if you plug those in you like you only get like a couple like dozen feet that you can stay off the surface of the ground until the gravity just doesn't feel like earth anymore and that's a problem even if you don't look at the idea of mountains the idea of like other forms of like topography um what i'm really talking about is buildings like if you look at new york city for example and obviously these numbers will not be impressed for somebody from the future, but New York City has a thousand foot tall buildings. None of these I've been able to find um, are large enough radius wise, like the O'Neill cylinders where, you know, you have it, um, where you could put like New York City on there and you could go to the top, like the top of the Empire State Building and it would still feel normal. And that's pretty much the point of the video. If you want to build one of these, you really have to look at it from the perspective of not only one, very tall structures, but also to look at it as like the future. Because if you, um, a pretty recent trend in humanity in terms of engineering is the fact is that we are, we aren't shrinking. We keep going taller and taller. And obviously there's going to be a point where we cannot build buildings any taller, but I don't see that stopping. Engineering seems to keep moving forward like it always has in terms of or um, intelligence about how to keep a building um, in place. And that's the second point, too. You have to look at it, too, as like, okay, we want this ship to last about mm, 100 years. Maybe this is built in, say, 2200. A good plan, basically, is to look at, okay, so let's see what the tallest building was in the world in, tw like, 2000 versus 2,100. And for example, let's say if it's five times taller. And let's say 2,100, the tallest building at that time is about four miles tall. The perfect thing to do, in my opinion, is to um, basically look as like, okay, for example, let's say the tallest building in 2,001 is four miles um, tall. It's like, okay, four miles times four, and you'd have about 16 miles and if humanity's um, like understanding of um, engineering keeps upgrading to the point, to that point, even when it comes to 2200, you'll still have building. You'll basically still have a structure that's large enough to feel Earth-like, even at those tallest points. Um, I don't really have any master point or any really big, um, like some like freshy structure. I've kind of been wanting to do this video for a while. And, um, but it's so strange because it's such a, I don't know, it seems like such an evident thing, you know, and it's going to be something fundamentally if it's not taken to, um, take into account, people are going to, um, like at the very least, and they look at it as like stupidity for like, why did they not account for like human structures? Why did they not account for the structures of the beings that literally live on it? And at bet and at, um, worst, it may lead to trouble may lead overpopulation in terms of not having like tall enough buildings like apartment structures would lead to war and things like that because we've seen in history 
that when you have too many, too many people in point, it's very fucking easy for people to get pissed at one another. That's pretty much my video. I don't have any uh, catchy, um, catchy little line at the end. So, uh, bye.